Hi. Hi, everybody. This is Gigi. Oh, I'm about to tear things up. Um, glad to be back here. I am so excited. I want to talk about something that um, is really near and dear to my heart. And um, it's really something powerful that could really change your life. Once I share this with you, if you really, really think about this, if you really put this in action and really start to work on this, you can change your finances, you can change your health, you can change how you feel about yourself, you can go from where you are to where you want to be in life. And um, I realized that I, I did not use this to the best of my ability and I realized that if I had, my life would be so different. And so many people's lives can be different just by applying this one principle. And I bet you can't guess what it is. It's simple. It can take you from being broke to living abundant. It could really have you feeling, going from depressed, having depression, to feeling good about yourself. Guess what it is? It's your words. You know, as simple as that is, people think that that's so simple that it's insignificant. But it's not. There's power in the simplicity in, in that principle. Because your words can make you or your words can break you. I know sometimes I catch myself um, saying things like, man, I'm broke. And I have to, I have to. Oh no! I have to catch myself and realize that putting that out there, saying that, leaves me in my subconscious saying, "Oh, you're broke." Okay, well, we're gonna make that reality. We're gonna keep you broke. So here, I got this book, uh, uh, this wonderful book about speaking, going from speaking negative to speaking positive. So I'm gonna give you a few things on how to to t turn your words around, what not to say, and what to say, okay? So here we go. So get your pen, get your pad, because this is some good stuff. Don't say, my entire body aches, I'm just falling apart. You want to replace that, and you want to say, sickness and disease shall not lord over me, okay? Here, you want to say, you don't want to say, I am so exhausted, I really don't feel like doing anything. You See, that is negative. You want to replace it with something positive like, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, these things that I'm sharing with you, they're going to have like a biblical um, connotation to it because I am a Christian and I do believe in using principles from the Bible. So... And, okay, here's another thing that you want to look out for. This headache is killing me. So you want to replace that with headache. I resist you in the name of Jesus. In his stripes, I am healed and I am made whole. You don't want to say, I can't do that. I'm too scared. What if I fail? You want to replace that negative, those negative words with, I am courageous. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of a sound mind, power, and love. Isn't that wonderful? Now, you don't want to say, I'm always broke. Remember I told you I slip sometimes and I say, sometimes when I don't have any money, I'm broke. But you want to replace it with, I am abundantly supplied. God is supplying all my needs according to His riches and glory. You don't want to say, I'm so depressed. Remember, we talked, we said that before. Now, these words are powerful, remember? So we're going to change. So you do want to say, I have the mind of Christ and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. You don't want to say, I just can't stop this bad habit. You want to say, you want to replace that with, I am not tempted or tried above that which I am able to overcome. I am more than a conqueror. You don't want to say, 
everyone in my family has this problem. It's hereditary, so I will probably have the same problem too. You want to replace that negative thought or those negative words with, Christ redeemed me from the curse, being made a curse himself. I'm delivered out of every affliction. You don't want to say, I don't like people. I'd rather be alone. Besides, people are mean. You want to replace that negative words with, I have the compassion of Christ in my heart, and I love all people. You don't want to say, I'll never meet this deadline. My work is overwhelming me. There's no way I can meet the demands of this job. You want to replace that negative words with, I have the grace to overcome every obstacle. God has given me wisdom to solve every problem and I am faced with that I am faced with. You don't want to say, I am happy with what I have. Why should I want more? And some people, they do that. They're, they just settle for what they have. But you can have more. You want to say, Jesus came that I may have abundant life, and I am blessed to be a blessing to others. Isn't that wonderful? See how powerful those words are? And I know it's going to take some time to really adjust to that, but you want to really, really make a conscious effort of doing that. And it may not seem that anything is changing when you do this on a regular basis. So when you catch yourself, write those down. I'm going to have this video on my blog. I always put it on my blog. And I'm going to make sure I have those words underneath my blog so that you can come back and read it. But write them down in your journal so that when you find yourself slipping and, and making a mistake and, and saying those negative words, sometimes I do because we've been conditioned from when we were small and we hear it all around us. People don't believe in living positive. There's so much negativity around us that we all, you know, we're bound to slip, but it's our job. We're responsible for changing and becoming better, right? So what you want to do is when you find yourself slipping, when you find yourself saying something negative, find the positive version. Find the positive phrase to overcome that, to replace that negative thought like, I'm broke. I can't believe I'm broke today. My check, I just got my check, and I don't have a dime. Find that phrase, you know, that says, God supplies all my needs, or whatever phrase you want to use that will work, that's positive, okay? So, you know, they said Rome wasn't built in a day, so it's going to take some time to be conditioned to doing this, but you want to do it on a regular basis. So I hope that helps you. You're going to watch. If you continue to do it, you're going to see a change in your life in every aspect. Share this with other people, share with family, and share it with friends. That way you'll have all these positive people around you doing the same thing and helping supporting you. So I want to say thank you for allowing me in your space. I hope that you found this positive message that I shared with you helpful. And if you did, please leave a comment on my, on my blog or, you know, let me know how you feel and let me know what you think about, you know, this, this information, this valuable information that I shared with you. And saying that, I wish you best success, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.